Stay prompt. Island. I'm here, loud and clear. Good, good. I'm quite loud. Is that the one? The first one, isn't it? That's the one, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Good. Yeah, that's much better. Good. Yeah, that's much you're going somewhere but not landing away. If you say cross country, it means you are landing away. Right, okay. Um, navigation exercise. Navigation exercise, even though we're landing away. That's it. <laughs> I'll be pardoned, yes you are. So it is navigation exercise to Alconbury Sywell landing at Hinton. So he knows you're going to go to Hinton. Oh, right, okay. Or you could say cross country to but if you say cross country to Alconbury, he thinks you're going to land at Alconbury. So it's a navigation exercise, Alconbury Sywell, yeah. la landing at Hinton. That makes sense? Yeah. Navigation exercise to Alconbury and Sywell, landing yeah. at Hinton. That's it. Radio, Gold Bravo, Oscar Romeo Kilo, request radio check and taxi for navigation exercise to Arkhambury, Sywell, landing at Hinton. Two on board. Roger, readability 5 for runway 09 QNH 1023. 09 1023, Gold Bravo, Kilo. Good. That's 09 left, isn't it? Yep. And would you set 1023 before we take off? Absolutely, why not? Done then. Up now. Good. Okay. And let me check this gun. Oh, that's too, too much going on. There we go. No, well, it's just that's zero nine now. I'll load all the stuff if you wish. Okay. Normally you'll have it all just dump it on my seat, so.
how's your day been today? Yeah, meeting after meeting. Not oh, really. Yeah. We're doing a bit of a tour of the UK at the moment. Okay. We're uh, the company split into about ten different routes, and they've all got their own teams, so we have to sort of go around and have a look. Talk to them now and again. Oh. So, looking at the wind socks, Simon, you can see we are roughly facing in the wind. Yeah. So. Holding. Now the brakes holding. Front check. Sorry, my new tires. Pitch five. Yep. Charging. These and these. Oh, pressure. Well, it's the highest I've seen it. Roger, service wind 040 degrees 10 knots. Call from a kilo. Good, zero zero four, ten zero knots, four, zero so ten knots, almost yeah. crosswind. That's it, a little bit yeah. of wind from the left hand side. Yeah, that grommet's worn. Uh, Third race from radio, this is Golf Charlie Bravo, Bravo Sierra, good afternoon. Charlie Bravo, Bravo Sierra, good afternoon. Joining for zero 09 left hand, the QFE's 1009.
You certainly wouldn't be sent solo on a day like today. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> it's not good enough, but it's alright. It's all good practice for you. We're going to make two thousand. So if you can't, then do whatever you need to do. But let's say because you're inside of the surface, as long as you're 500 feet above the ground level, which of course is about 900 feet indicated. Yeah. If you be at 1800 or 1700, that will be sufficient if you're happy with it. Okay. By 19 then. Or yeah. If you do get in the cloud layer or near to it, you'll find the visibility diminishes a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, just skirting the. Uh, Maybe come back down a bit. So if we do a left turn and come over the field, that's right over. Perfect. Now, 2,000 feet, I think, will be in the uh, base of the cloud. Yeah, I'm just climb a little bit. Drop it down a little bit if I were you, but it's up to you. Yeah, 
somewhere like this for 33 minutes. Yeah, I don't for really the think this is going to be suitable. Because you're not going to see what I want you to see. I'm not going to go all the way to Alcabury because it's, uh, unless you can sort of, I can give you all the pinpoints that I want you to see, which you can't in these conditions, and 1,800 feet, this is not really good enough. What we'll do is, gonna, I'm going to fly the aeroplane when we get to Silverstone, and I'd like you to divert me to Chipping Warden, so we can do the nav diversion, even if we can't do the cross-country. Yeah. So it's, it's not a wasted exercise. We've so now come into some shit and run out. You said to me, it's south. Yeah, 300 degrees, it's 12 knots. I don't, I don't like the look of this. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back and do something else, because why do you want to press on into weather that you know is not suitable? Yeah. The reason is, or the thing is, you don't do it. So with your pen and your chart, while I fly the aeroplane, I would like you to divert me to Chipping Warden. Where is Chipping Warden? It's north of Banbury. So, no pen, just do it freehand. No really. Uh, so it's west to western here, yeah. Chipping Warden is there. Oh, yeah. So just draw a line from Silverstone to Chipping Warden. Track, a rough heading, a rough distance, and a rough time. Right. So, there we are. So, guess to make what the track is. 290. Okay, just write it down. And the wind is uh, here at about 45 degrees, okay. 25 knots, 12 degrees. Yeah. We need to be steering to the right. Plus, yeah, plus 302. Uh, okay, good. Distance. Yeah. Just over, I'd say about 12. Okay. And how long is 12 miles going to take us? Uh, at 95 knots, 8 minutes. Absolutely. And is the wind behind us? Take a minute off. If the wind is roughly behind us, so we're going to say 7 minutes. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm not going to waste your money in this, uh, Simon. But I think you'll agree with that. No, that's fine. No. It's not all, yep. it's not wasted. No. So. So. Yep. They're going to be heading a 302. Okay, when you're happy. Okay, I'm going to control. Yep. Take me to Chipping Warden, please. 302. Oh. Is that too much? Alright, no worries. I've had that, so I'm going to reset. Good. Okay, just keep you in the picture, Chris, the weather's not good enough for this cross-country, so we'll do a nap diversion, we'll finish up at Hinton. Okay, dokes, we're going to probably go and put the bulldog away and uh, come back up and lock up, so uh, I'm sure you'll be back probably after we've left, I guess. Okay, mate, no worries. I'll see you tomorrow, mate. I've got a key. Good. So, um, now the weather this way is much better, but you don't, <laughs> you don't want to go in now. Right, so we're still still behind us. Good. Now normally, you can see a big town up there, which would be Daventry. Daventry, yeah. And normally, you can see a big town down there, which would be... Blackland. And the bigger one behind it. Bamberg, yes. Yep. So you can see there's the airfield from Brackley out there on the left-hand side. So Bambury will be down there in our 10 o'clock position. Yep. Okay, yep. There's not much um, to navigate no, on right there, is there? There isn't that, no. That's 
good. So you know your timing, you've worked out roughly, is eight minutes. So oh, halfway we need to be about halfway, yeah. Uh, when you can't see the big bit, the, big, the, big, the points to, uh, to point out, it, it's a pointless exercise. When you do this on your own, I want to be able, you to be able to say, oh, I remember that, remember this, remember this, and you that way you'll yeah. get some benefit from it. What you have got up there is a nice big spike. Can you see the spike there? That's on the way oh, yeah. south of. Where is that in the map? So it's to the west of, of Daventry. You can see the spike. To the west of Daventry? down there somewhere. Where's Daventry? Uh, yeah. There's a big mast here down here somewhere. Should be on the map. I think it feels like it's just off on there. Is that it there? That could be it. Yeah. That's it. Raymond to the left. There's two, there's a wind farm in okay. between as well, so if we can see a wind farm then I just need to be steering just to the left of that. Okay. a day like today, then it's a case of holding the heading, seeing what the distance is like, or the timing. Yeah. Because you know if you're going to take your eight minutes, or seven minutes, must be about halfway there now. After seven minutes, if your heading is correct, if you've computed it properly, then yeah. you'll find out, I mean, I know what I'm looking for, so I can see it, but you'll be able to in a moment. We're looking for a tissue there, another tissue there, Field. It is. It's got a big uh, old, where the runways are all now uh, tree-lined, and it's got a big triangle of cars with buildings on the southern side of it. It's going over the railway line there, the disused railway line, which is the great uh, central. This is the one that you fly up on the 09 and 27 when we go down it. Going over the railway line, are we? Yes, it's the disused so one. Yeah. That's past okay. halfway, so we're, we're ahead of track. Okay. okay. So that's the old railway line. No, they're quite easy to spot when you look at tree lines, aren't they? They are, yeah. But you can see that there's your ground speed, 95 knots, which is what did you, what did you compute that? We didn't look at ground speed on this. Okay, what did we do on the on the chart on the way back? From, uh, from there we did the middle one, yeah. one, 119. Okay, so it's not quite so strong as you thought. Yeah. Big town down there. Where would that be on the left hand side, 10 o'clock position? Cambry. It is. Yeah. Smaller town up here. Could be Daventry. That's a good for Colts, that one is, but the Daventry's the one a bit behind it, yeah. Alright, yeah. Diversion, that diversion, alternate, yeah. So, okay. that is what Chipping Warden looks like. And as you see now, you said seven minutes, you weren't far off. Yeah. And look at the heading, you weren't far off for that. Yeah. So just on guesswork, it works. It does. Almost perfect. Absolutely. So, you've now got a minute and a half to run, so there's a good chance that that is Chipping Warden. Well, yeah. as I say, you've got the triangle of, of trees. Yeah. You've got all, loads and thousands of brand new cars that you buggers make and then park them there for 18 months before you yeah. sell them on. Yeah. And the buildings are all on the southern side. Yeah. That is Chipping Warden. You've got that big mast I was telling you about up there. I can actually see the you drift. I can point my nose that way. But well, if the weather had been like this, we'd have gone to Alkenbury. Oh, yeah, it is. That. But that way, it's good. Yeah. And I'm not going to waste your money, so uh. don't want to do that. So there's your wind farm with a lake. Oh, the lake, I didn't spot yeah, one. There's only a little tiny lake, it might not be on there because it's too small. No, uh, it's not. Yeah. But this but is... the wind farm. Yeah, the wind farms are there, the big mast, that is definitely there. Yeah. And this is Chipping Warden with all the cars parked yeah, on. got that. Good. Right. Now, I'm going to do a uh, hold there a plan. Oui. Might you just give me a, 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 a diversion, please, to here, to Hinton. Hello. Seven C uh, suggest is a almost perfect crosswind. Five degrees crosswind. 
Confirm. If it's a 90 degree crosswind, you use two thirds of the wind speed. Use two thirds of the wind speed. Two thirds. We're about 18. 18 or 16, yeah. 18, um, because it's going to stay left, so it's going to minus it. It's 170, 18, 112. Eight. 162. Oh. No. 15218. Yep. Yes, that's probably just less than ten. Yep. Eight. And uh, gonna be ninety-five knots, eight. Probably we're gonna be about five minutes. Six minutes. Okay. Good. So we want a heading of one five two. Okay. Ready? Have uh, control. You have control. Back over to Chippen Warden and then take me to Hinton. Now, in this particular situation, we are going to talk to Hinton Zone, so give si uh, Tow Western a call and tell him we'll transfer into Hinton, 119.45. Oh, what, is the, what, what is the actual call? You'll say, Tow Western, Romeo Kilo, transferring to Hinton, 119.45. Call Romeo Kilo, transferring to Hinton, 119.45. Going to put aeroplanes away, yep. so he's normally saying Roger, understood. Flip flop. Come on. Yep. Alright, uh, So, overhead uh, Chipping Warden, big town down there. I see. Do this properly, let's spin this round. Yep. Number. <laughs> Good. Right. Zero the timer. I'm be on. One, five, two, and I'm not. Uh, Kilo joining overhead for runway 06 at Hinton. He's just announcing because there's nobody there. There's nobody there? No. Oh, right, okay. So, sorry, what was the call? Hinton drop zone. Drop zone, yeah. Not Bravo Oscar Romeo Kilo. Yeah. Four miles north, joining overhead for runway 06. Four miles north, joining overhead for 06. Yep. Uh, go back on here, aviate navigate, communicate. I've gone miles off track here. Fine. Head to drop zone. Cold Bravo, throw me a kilo, four miles north, joining over to 06. Is it? There's been nobody there. All you've got to do now is find hints in the hedges. So, you know that one's Banbury? Yep. This one down here is the uh, Milton, whatever it's called. Just to the right of Blackley then? Yeah. And what's this here? That one is the Dibble Wild name, is it? Middleton Cheney. Quite big to be... Uh... Yeah, that's not Brackley. Oh, yeah, Middleton, yeah. Okay, so we should be to the right of that. Right of it or left of it? Left of this, right of it. Okay. And that doesn't really add up to... Uh, That's Brackley. Yeah, That's but the Middleton... Middleton Cheney. This, this one we're going over there, so we need to be slightly to the right of it, according to... Okay. So maybe that crosswind isn't quite as bad as which would add up, because the ground speed was... Absolutely. Ah, right, okay, I didn't see that one. <laughs> yeah, Brackley. Banbury. That's Banbury, yeah. yeah. That means we're not very far, because I said that was going to be five minutes. So we should be able to see it soon. Yeah. So I can see a little village there. Uh, yeah, which is that one? Uh, I'm not sure, because it's not on that. If we've got Brackley. That's Brackley. That's Brackley over there. Left bend down a bit. Sorry? That's Brackley over there. Just in front of your left wing. All oh, right, okay. You can't see it very well. So you've got a disused railway line down here, and also the motorway, which is the M40. So if you look out of Banbury, yeah. you can see the dotted line with the is the railway line, and the M40, of course, is the big major road. Yeah. 
So as you can see, you're not moving too far to the west of where you want to be. Right. Doesn't add up with. Okay. Let's have a look and see what you've done. So we were there. That's more like about, you said 150. Uh, so one about 170, wind is going to blow you that way, you're going to stick. So 170, wind yeah. was going to blow yeah, me 160, 160 I said. Okay, not too oh. far away. But you're now tracking parallel, coming down towards the M40. Which is? This road here. Okay. So you're basically too far to the west. Yeah. So to be over to the... That's it. Do you recognise that place over there with the golf balls? Yeah. Right, where would that be? I think on the circuit. It's this one here called Crowton. Right, okay. Side of Crowton is hinted in the hedges. So you need to turn, it's over there. Hi. Right. So you be turning left, huh? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to make take too much store in this because the visibility is so lousy you can't see what you're doing. But if you look down there on your left hand side, you'll see a runway in a moment, 10 o'clock. Yeah. See it? Yeah. That's it. So and that's 06. That's runway 06. <laughs> Do we need to do a circuit over that then? No, if you can, can, you, can you get in from here? I think so. Come on then. Right, okay. Power oh on. god. Right, okay. <laughs> so we're just going to say we've now got an emergency. So, car beat hot. Yep. Take all the power off, get it under control, brakes off, undercarriage down. Mixture. Mixture. Fuel pump to go. Fuel pump. On. Yep. And then, because it's so a short flat. Yeah, it's a short runway, so absolutely get it on full flat. Full flat? Yeah, when you get down to finals. Good, so by looking at it, you think, hmm, it's not that long, is it? No. What you do need is full flat, get it down low, drag it in with the power. So six, we've got perfect headwind. Power, yeah. that's it. So full flat. Get it down nice and low, so that you are literally 20 feet over those trees and the hedges. Yep. So that way you're going to land on the end of the runway. Do we need to make a final call? You can do that, but there won't be anybody there, but it's a good idea to do it. So what would you say? Just confirm me get a final yeah, for 06. 06 to land. Confirm me get a final 06 to land. Put the manual light on just in case anybody's about. I'm sure they're not this time around at night. I need a fair bit of power to keep it. That's fine. So keep the wings level with the aileron, just use your feet. Get it nice and straight. Beautiful, a little bit more speed. Let's take a bit of power back on to keep it back to 70 all the way down. Driving it down. That's it. And power off. Now flare and hold it off. Keep it flying. Fly. Could have kept it flying a little bit longer. Yeah. That's alright. No problem. Happy. I've got to backtrack the runway. Welcome to Hinton in the Hedges. The difference to us? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Round and back the other way. Big old plane? Yes, uh, an AN2, they call that. Antonov 2, one of the, it's the biggest biplane in the world, Russian. Really? Antonov, yeah. It does fly occasionally, but it gollops fuel like it's going out of fashion. <laughs> can imagine. Can imagine, yeah. Okay, the flaps can come up, can't be cold, pumps and lights off. That old thing. Yeah, it can all come off, yeah, good. Then we'll make a right turn here, uh, Simon, and then go down towards the hangar. That's the parachute aeroplane, which is all locked up.
Where's the hangar? Uh, down here, and it's just left just before the hedge. Just before the hedge? Yeah. Are the HPVs uh, reversing them? Yeah. That's down here. That's it down right. here. We'll just park it in front of the door of the hangar. See where the tires are. We'll just nose it in. Past that Sassy 150 looks a bit sorry for itself, doesn't it? <laughs> this one down here with the wings off and whatever. Uh, so where am I? Um, it's just heading down towards the corner. Stop to short of the grass. So this is out. Brakes no. aren't quite as responsive. No. <laughs> It feels like a smaller aeroplane. It does. It's, just a, it? it's an older aeroplane, so because you sit a bit lower down. I'd personally like to be a bit higher up, but however. And where we'll do power checks? Uh, just before we get to the runway. This is a lot more <laughs> difficult to get used to. Uh -huh. There's nobody about, I think we can go on to the runway and uh, we'll backtrack and do the checks at the end. You see the wind sucks all falling apart, it's blown itself to pieces. <laughs> so we're going to go down to the end, though? Yeah, we'll just go down to the end, yeah. Well, at the end of the, uh, of the black uh, top. Original wartime concrete runway. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's tarmac straight over the top of it. That's right. All sorts of bloody noises going on. Stop. Right. Yeah. Checks quickly on it. Just a quick power check. So. I'll just tell you what to do. Okay. Good luck out. Set to 2000 RPM. Yep. Uh, oh, Make sure on hold holding. It. Yep, Good. brakes holding. Check on the car beat. Oh, the car beat. Yeah, which is. Car beat's that one. That one. All reduction. Yep. Good. And then. Bag. Looking good, slow running, down into yep. gyro section, power yep. all the way back for slow running. Bit slow, but that's alright, put that down to a war cold engine. Back to 1200. Oh, just <laughs> uh, It's difficult, that's all, it's different. Yep. Okay, throttle friction nut to be set as required. Yeah. Trim is uh -huh. to neutral. Yep. Mixture to rich. Fuel is on the right tank. We'll put that on the left. Yeah. Oh, which we should have done for the power check. Don't on. worry about it. Fuel pump on now. Uh, which is that one? Yeah. And lights. Yeah. Landing yeah, lights. Yeah, stick them all on if you like. Nav and. Yeah, stick them all on. C and BC, you know, I like that. Right. Uh, mixture to rich. Fuel's on is sufficient. Fuel pump on. Instruments all set. Steering compass is synchronised. Not quite. A quick tweak. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gone. Way off. Make sure the buttons are pulled out. Yep. Oh, you just put it back. Okay. That's it. Good. Altimeter is set. Everything else is yep. done. Hatch is secure. Harness tight. Yep. Okay. Controls full and free. That feels better. Good. <laughs> And then the last thing to do is the flaps. Now, looking at that, you can see it isn't a very long runway. That, so how much the... flap would you use? Two. Good idea. 
And rotator. 65, so it'll, it'll, it'll get airborne at 60, this will. Gets in the air, get over the hedge, at yeah. a safe altitude, 100 feet, we'll say. Then you can retract the flaps to 10, climb away as normal. I'm away at 75. Yeah, Thank 70, you, 75. Okay. Yeah, when you're ready. Uh, pull that out. Yeah. In. Good. And off we jolly well. Oh, full power. Absolutely. So there we are, full power. You get 2,200 on this one because it's of course a bit fuller. Seems to be green. Speed's now starting to build nicely. And 60 knots into one to fly. Good. Get the thing down there. That's it. Over the tree. Easy with those forward to keep the speed. We track the flaps to 10. And then it's exactly the same as normal. <laughs> now you can see nicely on this heading, there's Brackley. Oh. Just keep it climbing straight out, put a right runner right with the ball in the middle. And you can level off at 500 feet, no problem. 500? Oh yeah, no problem, don't think that's too high. <laughs> Wait. I suppose you should prop that. Can you see all this? Yeah, it's, it's different. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, we level off there. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then we're ready. Straight across the building site. There's Dale Weston. Straight across the building site. See the hangars? Yeah, yeah I think so, yeah, yeah. For the yellow field next to it. The yellow field, that's, that's parallel with the runway, yeah. And we're landing 0-9, so yeah. can we just go straight in from here then? You can. Okay. Yeah. So, downwind checks, and then announce that you're on finals for 0-9 to land. Uh, okay, so brakes, hang on, still climbing. No brakes on the current mixture. Fuel, we'll leave fuel pop on. Yeah. Instruments, all okay. RP, which was this one? Yep. Check before I uh, pull any. <laughs> Good. Harnesses and hatches. Absolutely. And announce. Yep. That we are. Yeah. Get it set up for landing first, and then you're announcing your finals for zero nine to land. So this one stage. Uh, or two stage. Whatever you want to do. Let's go normal two stage. That's it. Keep making sure you're on the right speed and the power. Oh, That's good. That's it. Just take some power off. Start yeah. with. Good. Kilo final zero nine to land. Good. We get this power and control. Speed. Yeah. And for the trip, you need it, so you probably want four turns on the wheel. Can't beat. We should have been on. Uh, okay. Sorry. Without turning back off because yep. it's three hundred feet. And what was that? Sorry. As you trimmer, clockwise turns. It should be holding back. So you okay. want four turns. Unless you're happy with it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get back onto this. Uh, yeah. Bit of power to keep over the solar farm. That's good. Now hold it. This one off. Good. Oh uh, shit! That's it. Yeah, it does get you. Just... Oh, yeah. That, that was. was that's because you did. You, well, you lurched it to start with. You gave it yeah. a bit of, which of course the aeroplane reacted to. But if that happens, just put a tweak of power back on again. Do it again. Sorry about that. That was. Uh, it's a new aeroplane. Okay, you can on the back track here, or turn right on the grass, whichever one you want to do. Uh, we'll 
going the wrong way. If you get that situation, know where it starts to balloon, just give yourself a bit of power. I, well, the thing was, I didn't know whether it was in or out for the power, because I've... I've <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's a new machine. So, I just put it down to... I knew I should have put a bit of power on, but I didn't want to do the opposite of what I should have done. It hasn't cost you anything, so put it to experience. But, I mean, the, the, I, I know Mike flies this thing, but it's a heat. I, I don't like it. No, no. I won't be coming back. No. <laughs> no. It's out for the front row. I suppose it is similar, isn't it? Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the lights and stuff can all go. come off. Flaps up, car be cold. Yeah. Oh, the wrong way, can't they? Yep. Uh, fuel pump lights all off. If you haven't flown that one, you would get that. 